I think about four different meetings. The initial meeting with God, our daily meeting with God, a constant meeting with God, and our future meeting with God. I like the story of Zacchaeus, perhaps because my children are all giants and they often tease me about not being able to see me. I'm often found in the house when one of them stands in front of me asking, has anyone seen mum? It does bring quite a lot of laughter to our home. I wonder if Zacchaeus thought about having an ordered life until that wonderful day he came face to face with Jesus. Up until that time, he left Jesus out of his life. He lived life unto himself, giving no thought of others, of their needs or their situations. He heard that Jesus was to pass through Jericho and he was anxious to see him. And as you know, he made his way to a certain place, a sycamore tree, simply to get a better view of Jesus as he passed. Or so he thought, but the Lord knew he was there. More than that, the Lord knew all about him and called him by name. Jesus purposed that on that day, they should meet and Luke 19 5 and 6 tell us that when Jesus reached the spot he looked up and he said to him Zacchaeus calm down immediately I must stay at your house today so he came down and welcomed him gladly when he was to come to the place saviour and sinner met face to face Perhaps you have met Jesus many times in this very place, or could it be for someone that you have never met him before? How wonderful it is when you meet Jesus face to face and he claims salvation over your life. Let's tread very quietly and reverently together as we walk, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Matthew 27 and 33 brings us to another place. And when they were come unto the place called Golgotha, sorry, Golgotha, the place of the skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he tasted thereof, he would not drink. And then they crucified him. In the place where he was crucified, there was a garden in which a new sepulchre wherein no man had yet laid. There they laid Jesus our Lord. And John 19, 41 and 42 says, This is the place which tells of his love. This is the place even Calvary we may and we need to see Jesus. There is a place, even Calvary, where we need to see Jesus. Have you been there? Have your eyes of Jesus, have the eyes of Jesus and your eyes met? Do you remember your meeting at this place? where he gave his life for our sin. It is a place, it is this place we are led to say, love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. Having once met the Saviour, we shall certainly long to meet him every day and have constant fellowship with him. The constant place. 
In John 18, we read of a place where Jesus often went. He did this to have fellowship and communion with his heavenly Father. Times of prayer. Jesus' disciples were often found in this place. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook Kidron, where there was a garden into which he entered with his disciples and Judas also, which betrayed him. He knew the place for Jesus of time resorted thither with his disciples. John 18, 1 2. When we belong to Jesus, we delight to meet him in the place of prayer and communion. And what an awesome promise we have in Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. In Exodus, we read concerning the mercy seat. There will I meet with thee, and there will I commune with thee from above the mercy seat. In the secret of thy presence, how my soul delights to hide. Does your heart respond to Jesus' words? We notice in John 18, it says, Judas also, that should betray him. He knew the place. Perhaps this is a reminder of those words. Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. The evil one knows the place. He knows where we are. He knows when we pray and when we have fellowship together. He seeks to hinder and destroy such times of prayer and fellowship. We must be ever watchful and aware, guarding the sacred place, where we are in our homes, wherever we find ourselves right now. It is a sacred place and we must guard our homes carefully against the evil one's attacks. Guard it with prayer. We have thought of the initial meeting, the daily meeting and the constant meeting. Let's think for a moment and ponder the future meeting. God's word says, every eye shall see him. Do you hear him whisper to you? In my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. What a prospect. It is yours. And then that wonderful promise concerning the journey there. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the, pre the place prepared for thee. You may know that assurance within your heart already, but perhaps there are some watching today, wherever you're watching from and thinking, I wish I had that assurance. Are you standing as it were at a place where two ways meet? This friends is the very place where Jesus is passing right at this moment. May it be for you as it was for Zacchaeus, the day of salvation. Jesus said unto him, this day is salvation come to thy house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the son of man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. Finally, the place of salvation, Calvary. The place of prayer, the mercy seat. The place prepared, heaven. In the secret of thy presence, how my soul delights to hide. 
So let me ask you, what is your purpose for God? This is the very place that God meant for thee. Here are the things that he would have thee see. Words too that he would have thee hear. To still thy heart and to take away thy fear. It is the secret place where those who come abide and thus are kept safely by his side. They shelter safe beneath his blessed wing and here he teaches many a precious thing. Here those who come delight to again and again in their hearts glean a glad refrain. The very place he meant for thee. This is the very place that God has meant for thee. For here he offers pardon, full and free. He planned that you would meet him thus and so be led to put in him your trust. It is no chance that he has brought you to this place, but love and power and his amazing grace. He's drawn you with cords of love and you may now be safe, now the saviour prove. Then in your heart, this lovely song will be the very place he meant for thee. Yes, this is indeed the place that he meant for each and every one of us to be today. Our times are in his hands and he has made a very clear purpose and plan for each and every one of us. I pray that if you don't yet know the Saviour, make him yours today, right where you are. Because right where you are is the very place that he intended you to be. Let's just share a prayer together. Father God, we just want to say thank you that we can be each found in our homes just now. But Lord, sharing together in worship. Father, I pray that you will be with everyone who has been watching this video today. And Lord, that may perhaps go to it again and watch it over again. Father, be with each and every one of us. Be with our world leaders. Be with those who are having to make big decisions just now. But Lord, most of all, be with each and every one of us. Lay your hand on each of us. Keep us safe. But Lord, just bless us and use us for your kingdom. This we would ask in and through your precious name. Amen. Amen.